Grammar or literature? I'd love to hear stories of literature, but I prefer grammar because uh, grammar has its own uh, unique rules or set of rules that we need to abide for us to to construct ideas, to to generate ideas, and to inform ideas to others. Unlike literature, that we have to deepen our understanding of what is the context of a literary piece is. All of the above or none of the above? Uh, all of the all of the above. I chose all of the above because uh, I believe that every chance of uh, choices has its own purpose. We can get a lot of learnings for every choice that we are uh, we are having. So I chose all of the above for it will uh, give us more chances of learnings. Recorded or not recorded for exam results? Recorded so that uh, we may see or we may track the progress of every student in their learning process. True or false? True. I believe that the truth will always set us free and uh, we may, we must stand for the truth as always. Ma'am, sir, miss, mister, or teacher, on how you want to be addressed in the future as an educator? A teacher would be great, but a common stigma here in the Philippines that the teacher term was only used by uh, private school students. However, uh, sir is a common uh, name for teachers here in the Philippines. So, uh, any of that will do. Written work, performance task, or quarterly assessment? Uh, performance task because uh, I believe that in every learning process, it is important that we must uh, take action into students for them to to conceptualize and to really enhance their learning about a certain topic, a certain competency, or a certain skill. So performance tests would be better for all of the learnings they need to acquire. Making the exam or checking the exam? Checking the exam, of course, because it's uh, much easier. Uh, we can't deny the fact that making an exam is quite hard. Student or teacher? Student. As a teacher, we are all students. As a teacher, we are lifelong learners. And as a teacher, we are still learning. So being a teacher is being a student. Subjective or objective categories of test items? Uh, subjective test items because uh, I want to, to, to pull out ideas on every student of how they learn about a certain topic or a certain thing. Short quiz or long test? I love short quiz because uh, it's much easier for students. It's it's uh, easier for us teachers to check those quizzes, to check their learnings. And of course, uh, in long test, uh, students are bombarded with a lot of topics to study. However, it is also a good a uh, way to test the learnings or to assess the learnings of the students. Cognitive, psychomotor, or affective? Uh, it's quite hard to choose from the three because it's all important. It's uh, Those three are very essential aspects in terms of learning. But I, I chose cognitive because uh, in languages, uh, cognitive is an important part because it is important that every student should understand or their learning capacity should should be able to adapt of what we are trying to to share with them. Paper and pencil test or online examination? I'd love a uh, paper and pencil test because it it more feels like a student teacher or it more feels like a, a real learning rather than online examinations. Reading or listening? I love listening more because uh, I am 
quite lazy to read a lot especially when when it's just pure text so uh i love more listening writing or speaking speaking because uh i'm a very talkative person so i want to speak more rather than to write more because i am lazy to write something like that essay with limit or without limit for the number of sen- of sentences Essay with limit is better, especially when we have a num a large number of students handling. Uh, we are not uh, trying to limit their what they want to share. However, we are just maximizing our time. We are just maximizing our efforts in reading each essay. And essay with limit is better because they can practice their writing skills or their sharing skills wherein they can just share comprehensively with context they can share their ideas uh, precisely on point and uh, very concise ready or not ready for being a teacher being ready is a must as always of course especially when handling classes we must prepare our lessons plans lesson plans ahead of time our presentations our learning materials our learning resources so that we may uh, facilitate a learning setup or a, a class setting very efficient and effectively to our students test early or test frequently Test frequently is better because uh, we want to to assess our students from time to time so that we can know if they are really learning. Cheating or failing? Failing is better rather than cheating because in every failure we are having, we are trying to learn something from that failure. So it is better to fail rather than winning but cheating. Of course, cheating is is not a good uh, practice. It's not a good idea. So, it's better to fail and to learn rather than to cheat and not learning at all. Assessment of, assessment for, or assessment as? Assessment for learning is perfect because uh, we are all assessing, we are all doing these kinds of assessment for the sake of our students or at the same time, for our for us teachers but uh, it is we all know the fact that we are doing all of these assessments for the betterment of the education of our students teaching or assessment uh, teaching I love teaching that's why I take a uh, BS a uh, bachelor of secondary education major in English because I love teaching so I love sharing with other people i love imparting knowledge with other people and especially to my students in the future